What is going on everybody? Uh, in this video we're going to run through how to choose an EC2 instance. Uh, what are your memory requirements and how much uh, drive space you need. Uh, it's kind of hard to estimate when you're just going through the images. Uh, so let's jump right in so we can see that in action. So here I am in the AWS console and I can just go to instances. Uh, if you don't see this, you can just do EC2 and you should be brought to uh, the same screen. And I'm just going to launch an instance. Uh, give it any name you'd like. Uh, demo instance. That's fine. And here we have uh, some operating systems to choose from. Now these are AMIs, which are Amazon Machine Images. So those are custom images made by Amazon, uh, probably optimized and uh, a lot of tweaks, all good stuff I'm sure. I'm just gonna choose Ubuntu uh, because that's the one I'm familiar with. Uh, doesn't really matter though. And here you'll see Ubuntu Server 22.04. Uh, now, if you go out and uh, Google that um, and look for the memory requirements, uh, it's kind of hard to find uh, for the, the server. And even if you do find that, that's not going to necessarily apply to the AMI uh, because those will most likely be different. Uh, so, uh, you have a program you want to run, uh, but you know how much memory about it's going to take but here it has four gig of memory but how much is the operating system going to use um, so we don't know that we can just fire these up real quick uh, these are small enough you know it's it's probably going to cost pennies uh, no more than a dollar i'm sure uh, you can generate a new key pair if you don't have one already uh, once you go ahead and generate that, it'll download automatically. I did one earlier when I was running through this. I just called it demo key. Uh, in the drop down, you would choose an existing one if you have it. Uh, and now down here, uh, choose your network. That's your VPC, uh, your subnet. And we want to auto assign a public IP. Um, I've messed around in here quite a bit, so chances are if, if you're coming into this fresh, uh, the defaults will probably be okay there. And SSH, we want to allow that from anywhere. And for hard drive space, let's just give that 10 gigs. Uh, delete on termination, so uh, when we terminate our instance, that data, all the... Uh, Anything saved on the drive will be deleted as well. Uh, that's what I want, so launch instance. Oh, I forgot to select the key pair, so I'll just do demo key pair, launch. And while that's going, I'm going to change to my downloads. And I want to use that demo key that we uh, went ahead and generated or whatever your key is called, uh, you would put it in there. And we just need to look at our instances. And get the IP. Uh, now, I'm not the best at reading documentation. Uh, I'm sure somewhere buried in there it'll tell you which name which username by default they want you to log into the instances because logging in as root is never good uh, but they were nice enough to put an error message on their uh, SSH port that should kick out what they want us to use oh uh, and it's saying uh, the permissions are too open. Um, 
So we just need to, I believe, chmod and 444, uh, whatever the key is called, I believe demo key. And let's try that again. All right. We just go ahead and say, I'm going to go ahead and do permissions. I always forget what they want for that one. I thought it was 444. Oh, 400 or 600. Either one should work. Up arrow twice. There we go. Okay, and we see it's not letting us log in. It says, uh, please log in as the user Ubuntu. So we're gonna control C and we will just do what the prompt tells us and use Ubuntu. All right, so I believe we chose four gig of memory. So what we can use is HTOP. And we can see that right now it's actually using 187 megs to run this uh, headless Ubuntu AMI image. So uh, if we were running something that was, uh, well, up to 3.8, uh, we'd probably be okay. I'm just gonna control C to exit there. Uh, another useful command uh, we chose 10 gigs of hard drive space, so I'm just going to DF, actually I'll DF-H to make that a little more human readable. And if we look, 1.6 gig of the hard drive has been used. Uh, what is that? Operating system stuff. So if we had uh, 10 gig uh, that we needed to put on disk on this EC2 instance, uh, it would not fit. Uh, what we might also want to do is a uh, pseudo reboot or uh, you could go to the dashboard as well and just uh, go to instance state, reboot instance, uh, and that'll do it as well. And that's just because sometimes it takes up some memory with the initial configuration uh, that might not be uh, the same as when it's normally running. Uh, so you might want to just restart it and then see again. And all right, looks like it gave us the same IP address. Oops, I did not want root. I wanted Ubuntu. And I think it's just taking a moment for the dashboard here uh, to catch up with, um, with the actual state. Because I would expect that to change. Oh, it did give us the same IP address. All right. Okay, so the memory utilization actually seems about the same. You know what? For some reason, I don't believe that restarted. I'm sure it did, but something about that just seemed a little odd. So no, uh, no harm in just redoing it manually here. Give that a moment.
I just control C to cancel that. Looks like there might be some dust in the pipes. So you know what, I'm actually going to stop the instance just to make sure it is stopped and then I'm going to bring it back up. Oh, it's still stopping. Okay, we'll give that just another moment. I know I may seem impatient, but I really make these videos to try to save uh, save you all out there some time, so I'd hate to think I'm taking up any more of your time than I need to. Uh, we'll just start that back up. And I guess since that's taking its time, I can just go ahead and I'm going to go to the EC2 dashboard. If for whatever reason you're not getting a public IP on your instance, all right, we got a fresh one. Uh, let's see. If you're not getting a public IP, go ahead and uh, down here, uh, the auto assign public IP, you're going to want to edit and uh, turn that on. Uh, if your instance didn't launch at all and uh, set a, something to the effect of a subnet needs to be associated with the network interface, uh, you would want to check here and make sure that you have a subnet selected. Uh, if not, uh, you can go to uh, subnets. And that should guide you through how to set that up. Uh, but, all right, we have a new IP here, so let's go back in. New IP address, so we need to accept the fingerprint. All right. So memory utilization is about the same, so that was pretty steady. Uh, I wouldn't expect the uh, size to change at all, uh, but during startup, uh, odd things can happen. Uh, but that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to show in this video. Uh, just paying attention to your uh, your size requirements for the hard disk and your memory utilization uh, depending on which software services programs you want to run uh, it's it's uh, can save you some time having to backtrack and uh, recreate a new instance with a bigger hard drive or uh, more memory if you just kind of look at the size right off the bat uh, spin one up real quick uh, see what's actually being used and and then you've got an idea of what you're actually working with. Uh, so that's all I have for this video and I will see you in the next one.